wakurugenzi <laughs> mamen <laughs> najaribu nisishau sana manake <laughs> sauti bado inanifanya ile kitu lakini kama kaa ukiona mkurugenzi in the building you just know he's not sipping the juice sababu juice kidogo inaweza <clears throat> kutufanya ile kitu ah uh, wakurugenzi mwaka ni 1991 1991 kuna jamaa hapa anaitwa Tarzan pale mtaza Miami Florida aba ona ako kwa simu anaongea na contacts pale panaitwa nini Moscow Russia anauliza wadau niko na swali hapa na najua ita sound very <laughs> strange lakini kwa nataka kuuliza unaweza kuwa na military submarine nataka kununua majamaa wakakula poza hapo kidogo kwa phone call wakaambia niaje wacha tunakupigia in a few jamaa kaketi hapo akingojea response and true to their word phone kalia akashika simu na jamaa on the other side of the line akamuuliza swali is submarine unaitaka na missiles ama bila missiles meaning iko <laughs> unaitaka aje Wada kule ni pause najua mmejiuliza maswali nyingi sana hapa. Ai mtu ana own bar. Oi submarine missiles. Ai tunaenda wapi na history? Ah uh, mse panic. Taka tukule pause hapo. Pigaliwa in selector. Toka 91 toka toka rudi wapi 1980. 1980 tuko mahali panaitwa Brooklyn New York. New York. Brooklyn New York bana kuna immigrants kutoka Russia wameingia pale. Hiyo time unajua huko maze Soviets walikuwa nakula ngori so walikuwa na hama hama deadly so kuna kadhaa wameingia US among them ni kijana mdogo anaitwa Tarzan hiyo ndio ilikuwa nickname yake jina yake origin ngumu nimeshindwa kuishika mnaweza enda hapo kwa comments muniandikie hiyo jina tafadhali Russians wanakuwa na majina so Tarzan ameingia pale Brooklyn New York of course ni kijana hajasoma hana kazi so maze kupata ati legit eh, kupata biashara legit ikakuwa ni kubwa so kijana angaingia US ngaamua kuwa mkora <laughs> so mzee ameingia pale the only job angeza pata ni kukuwa an enforcer for the Gambino crime fra- crime family Gambino crime family basically unajua huko kuna ma- mafia families mob sana kulikuwa na kina Gambino kulikuwa na kina em, walikuwa naitwa nani hawa the Italians walikuwa wengi Lucchese Lucchese <laughs> walikuwa wengi wachini the good fellas mta mtaelewa hiyo story ya families za uh, mafia milioni operate so here comes a young russian boy amekama ameingia pale it's 1980 amepata kazi kama enforcer pale Gambino crime family so hao kazi yao ilikuwa ku collect madeni tulikukopesha sisi kama Gambino umeshindwa kulipa tunakufinya finya kidogo ndio upate motivation ya kutulipa pesa yetu usipo tunaenda kwa biashara yako tunaichoma so kazi yao ilikuwa gaiyo hason kwenda tu kuchoma bizi za wase huyu ameshindwa eh weka kimberiti hapo wewe quick but one morning mzee ameamka hivi jua na shanga partner wake mbona ampigii simu mbona jamshtua nini ana try kumreach ni aje nothing so akakula lap hivyo mpaka keja partner wake kwenda kumuuliza mzee form ni gani uliko nivutia asubuhi tutoke twende ma errands au janivutia is how anafungua mlango anapata rafiki yake kwa flow pigwa risasi zake karibu 17 mambo yake imeishia hapo eh akajiita meeting akajiuliza we, we, we. hapa kwa gambino hapa ndio kweli nataka kuendelea na haso kweli akaona uongo hii biashara ya ukatel itammaliza so akaamua he wacha tu mimi nijiondoe niende nitafute green pastures elsewhere So mzee mzima Tarzan akatoka wapi Brooklyn New York akafunga safari mpaka Miami Florida kwenda kuanza biashara sababu walikuwa wametengeneza pesa mzuri sana being an enforcer for the Gambino family na akaingia pale Miami akafungua club inaitwa Pokis ya warembo ambao wako allergic tunguo unawapata pale Pokis sana sana na biashara ikakuwa sawa deadly Something ilikuwa ilifanya hiyo busy yake ika blow up sana ni juu the, the Russian mob walikuwa mingi ya US deadly so wakisikia kuna mmoja wao atao ni mob by them sheyo na hizo birds 
zinakanga Russia zinakaga Italian mafia zokuwa zimepiga shati ya white na suti ya black sisi ni mahongo eh zokaga hivyo Lucchese family so eh pale pale tu nini pale Miami tuko Miami sasa amefungua club inaitwa Pokies Pokies bana new sisha travel ma Russians washaambiwa mzee mmoja wetu amefungua club wapi pale Miami Florida inaitwa nini Pokies so wakaanza kuingia wakagundua bana Tarzan ni mse wa nguvu bana Ah, ukinidi tu connection yoyote wewe ni mgeni umetoka Russia umeingia tu sorry umeingia tu hapa mazuno nataka ma connect nini Tarzan ndio mtu wako Tarzan ndio alikuwa plug wao wa kila kitu so juu ya hiyo mazee like the russian mob walikuwa gatu mpaka base of operation ni ndani ya pokies walikuwa wanapiga gama biashara zao kwa hiyo club nini so pesa ilikuwa inatembea kwa hiyo club deadly like just business was good umse alianza kukafunga mbaya among the russian mobsters pale ndani kulikuwa na jama fulani hapo alikuwa anaitwa Grisha Grisha alikuwa maze anasafirisha madawa huyu mrashia alikuwa anakimbiza cocaine kuliko vile tropicals zinakimbiaga kwa jam dawa na Grisha same was up na hiyo jina ni very important kwa story so ishikilieni so nao tuko na Tarzan na tuko na Grisha awe kakando hapo hapo Miami kuna jamaa fulani ni an associate of the drug dealers in the area his name is Juan Almeida Juan Almeida yeye yeah, kazi yake ilikuwa ga- okay he was a businessman alikuwa anauza gezi exotic cars Ferraris Lamborghini Aston Martins hizo ndio hiyo ndio ilikuwa hustle yake but ile kitu ilikuwa inapatia Almeida pesa kama wazim alikuwa na fichi ya drug kingpins assets zao wakienda jela unajua wakati siku zako fote zimefika unafaa uende jela anaficha assets zako ndio zisichukuliwe juu kawaida gava inafaa isichukue so anazificha wewe unaenda jela una serve ukirudi anakurudishia si ndio anakurudishia wewe ni nyanya yake hey! ukienda umeenda hivyo ndio huyo jamaa alikuwa anapiga biashara yake so alikuwa na kama hiyo pretense ni aje wewe usijaliingia ndani ni miaka ngapi 15 ai 15 ni kidogo enda piga miaka zako utarudi upate in fact maybe hata assets zako zime grow juu simpia mimi niko sawa biz yeah unampatia vitu zako mazee mti yangu ukikuja unafurahia alibadilisha majina kila kitu so alikuwa ametengeneza do ridiculous mazee So one time bana unajua also ma drug drug nini aso big ya big ma wash wash wanapendaga ku hang out na ma celebrity mbaya. So one time alikuwa na hang out na celeb fulani anaitwa Vanilla Ice 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 baby. So Vanilla Ice aka wakibonga bonga akamwambia mazee ah kuna maskan fulani pale Miami ni deadly sana inaitwa Pokies unafaa utembe unafaa utembe mwenyewe ni beshte yangu anaitwa Tarzan na feel new same mnaweza ah mnaweza bond fit sana mazee kutwende hivi tumcheki cheki so vanilla ice can introduce Tarzan to Juan Almeida na hawa se wakaunda friendship moja deadly they were best of friends Almeida deadly sana biz eh, eh, Tarzan biashara pale na groundwork ako sawa anajiona na wase ni yeah, like it was a perfect combination around this time sasa tumefika 91 Something was happening in the Eastern Europe side. Pale kuna watu wanaitwa the USSR, United Social Soviet Republic. President alikuwa jamaa anaitwa Mikhail Gorbachev. Gorbachev ameshindwa na kazi, ametimuliwa kutoka kwa usukani and the USSR comes crashing down. So huko watu wanajitawala eh hizo country zote zilikuwa colonized na Russia sasa wameshaanza kuform to militia tumungi kitwao tuko huko tu ndio tumeshikilia mazonu huko so there's just chaos in USSR yani vitu zina happen tu hakuna serikali is nothing yeah so the entire USSR region ilikuwa tu to in shambles so one Juan Almeida <laughs> one Juan Almeida <laughs> akapata wazo safi sana kuna majamaa walikuwa wanahitaji pikipiki nyingi almeida akaambia tazan cheki 
wazee kuna wasi wanahitaji mabikes na hao say if i'm not wrong i think ni ni some cartel guys huko Colombia hiyo time Colombia mambo ya bike ilikuwa imeshika in fact ukiwa ma documentaries na mashow zote za cartels za Colombia uta realize walikuwa wanapenda ma bike mbaya bike zilikuwa fashion hiyo enzi na walikuwa wanataka hizo bike daily so Juan alikuwa amepata hiyo connect ai msi anataka bike na yeye anajua Soviet Republic vile ni noma huko hakuna vitu zina operate na kuna factory za bike nyingi huko so huko sana sana ataenda apatiwe hizi bike na bei ya nyanya so akaambia Tarzan ni aje buda tuingie wapi twende Moscow twende tuangalie kaa wa Russia hizo factory zao za bike kaa bado hizo mavitu ziko niko sure juu kuna a lot of instability hizo bike watatupatia na bei ya kutupa ai kwa nini kesho majamaa teke teke kutoka Miami Florida touchdown Moscow wanafika Moscow wanaambiwa ah bike factory iko ni vile tu kutoka hapa mpaka maliyo factory iko is like a hundred and something kilometers away mta drive hadi huko ah nani yako na saiki ya ku drive bana kwa ni kuhaya chopa ni how much wakaambiwa he 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 okay tuko na machopa za hapa ni zilikuwa abandoned na military resources ndio tunazinini but it is going to be quite costly it's costly hiyo very expensive wakaambia haya basi tupigieni hesabu mtuambie tuone kama tunazangana tunazangana kaja 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 unapiga math eh hey, watu wanataka kuhaya chopa tutapigwa hmm. bei hapa mti yenyewe amejui kakuja hapo haraka haraka aha okay plus pilots watatu all right okay it's a military chopper so ina kunywa fuel mob okay who hmm. is very expensive how much it's 500 dollars the russians have an idea wanaongelesha <laughs> cartels kutoka Miami Florida huyu ni mtu anauzaga super cars ako na Lamborghini 15 kwa yard yake ako na 500 dollars hiyo ni pesa yani like anashikanga nayo hot dog akikula then anapanguza nayo vidole anatupa kwa dustbin what is 500 dollars kitu kwa mind yake ilikuwa inaambia ambia inugu tuna haya 15 choppers <laughs> kama hiyo ndio bei lakini wakajishikilia wakajifanya ah 500 dollars is quite costly yeah. it's true tupatie chopa wewe and i called the airport and i said excuse me uh my name is Tarzan and we would like to rent the helicopter and the lady said to rent she said we never rent a helicopter i said do you have a helicopters she said yeah they we have like 400 of them right here doing nothing because in the time russia they didn't have even gas for them and i said 400 of them how about we're going to rent one and uh, she said let me call you back we're going to calculate they calculated calculated they call me by the end of the day and she said well i'm sorry you probably guys not going to rent it because it's coming out very expensive it's a helicopter mi17 with the three pilots it will cost you like back and forth like 500 i said how much she said 500 i said yeah you know what? this is really expensive but we're ready to pay and i told juan they give me guys the helicopter for 500 And the guy said, "Listen, let's get 10 of them. Let's fly like 10 of them. Let's occupy that city." You know, Juan is like, you know, this guy after a few drinks, he think he's Tony Montana. So akapewa chopa mazeso ni kaka 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 kaka. 100 km away, kwenda kutafuta nini? Bikes. Waende wauze. Chopa bana ina land katikati ya street sababu hasa wamepotea wanatafuta direction. Yaani hasa wana treat chopa ni kama ni nduthi. Wanaiweka kwa roundabout wanauliza wamama wazee hapo we kwenda kwa factory ya nduthi ni wapi? Okay. Ah sawa. Thank you. Pa 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 pa. Na ungetel bana hiyo ni kitu bana ilikuwa inashanga zao wa Russians mbaya. Sijui hasa walikuwa naishi aje before. I think hizo countries zilikuwa chini mbaya. So my guys wanafika kwa factory huko wanaenda wana buy ma bike deadly wana organize zinashipiwa from Moscow I mean from uh, Russia all the way to Colombia. Hiyo biz peke yake inatengenezea ma gentlemen 3 million dollars. Na wanakafunga safi. Haya. <laughs> Kuna jina tulisema mshikilie. Ah, uh, mjamaa anaitwa Grisha. Ni drug kingpin na tare sana wa one of the Russian mobs. Unfortunately for Grisha anashikwa lakini sababu Grisha ni mtu hataki kwenda ndani miaka nyingi in fact hataki kwenda ndani hata kidogo 
anaambia authorities wait 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 nimewaambia mimi niko na connection na kina Juan Almeida na na mtu anaitwa Tarzan na wanafanya biashara kwanza na Colombians sorry wanafanya biashara na Colombians sijawaambia hiyo makosa ni yangu mkinikubali tu nikae nje nitakuwa nawapatia intel vile mnataka me i know these two guys are up to no good wamepatiana pikipiki kwa colombian cartels juzi hata juzi sana so tafadhali ni watilieni tu nikuwe mtu wenu wa ndani na polisi wakakaa hivi wakasikiza wakawa na okay yeah that's that's a good idea so wakamuuliza ni aje tunaweza ingia tunaweza juu itaka tu suspicious eh, we uanze tu kuonekana onekana hizo ma ano tunataka yani ukue mtu wetu wa ndani na ukue ndani vile legit tunaweza fanya aje Grisha akawaambia sasa vile najua Tazam Tazam anataka kupiga bonge la expansion kwa hii club yake na ana need do kiasi sijui nipatieni do eh nikuje nimdanganye nayo tuonekana tutapiga ma expansion nini alafu ni mwambie mimi nataka kukuwa nini partner so akamwambia sawa pesa ya DA uwezi maliza enda fanya hivyo so Grisha ana kama naambia Tazam niaje hii bizi yako jose tunaweza ipiga expansion moja wazim niaje si ukubali mimi niwekele do safi hapa alafu tukue partners ah tazana anapiga sabu anaona why not huni arifu wangu why in fact one of my best customers hapa why not kama uko na pesa ya kufanya hiki kitu leta tuweke so grisha anawekelea do kwa club na wanakuwa partners kile tazana juu ni kwamba grisha sio partner ni informer wa the GEA authorities wa Korada deadly at this particular time authorities wa shagundua maze there's something that's happening in Miami jo Russians wanna take over deadly no something needs to be done we must stop the Russians so waka, come up na operation flani ilikuwa inaitwa operation odessa hiyo tu ni ya kuweka Russians mahali wanafaa jua lijua hapa kuna vitu dangerous zina happen haya twende kazi grisha asha plantiwa ako pale ndani yako katikati kakaka mahali hapo Miami there's another very very shrewd businessman ni mtu wa malawa of course ni biashara za chini chini colombian origin not colombia uh, cuban cuban origin jamaa anaitwa nelson yesta but also muita gatoni toni eh toni toni I love the sound of Tony. So Tony ako na connection nyingine na the Colombian cartels ata Juan ana yo collections. Hizo connections za Tony ni ridiculous. Like Tony ni among the few people anapiga biashara na Medellin cartel Colombia na bado anapiga biashara na Cali cartel. Unajua sasa wana kuoga na beef ingine design supplier wangu hezi kwa supplier wa ule. Lakini Tony alikuwa anapiga gabiz na wote. Unashindwa kwani Tony anaambia ga wase nini? Ndio wa ni fire straight fire so pale kali cartel wanaambia eh tony ni aje buda tunataka kwanza kusafirisha hizi cocaine zetu mazee na uzito na kuna chopa kuna machopa tunataka zile big big unajua mali tunaweza toa zile chopa big big almost military grade inaweza piga payload ya kitu kama 5000 the eh, kgs hata hiyo ni less 10000 kg 10 tons it bebe na ipeleke unajua watu wako na chopa kama hizo akaambia okay mimi ni msewa connect wacha nipige simu 2 3 4 wa show of course by this time tony alikuwa shaskia kuna wase fulani wanaitwa kina Tarzan na kina Juan Almeida wanafanya vitu zina happen mbaya sana so immediately alitoka kwa simu na kali cartel the first people alitafuta ni Tarzan na Juan Almeida na akawapata akawaambia wadau ni aje mimi naitwa Tony eh, eh, Nelson Yesta eh, wasio ni tagatoni mimi msewa Colombian kushoma mmenisikia i mean msewa Cuba napiga gabiz na wa Colombiano sana na hasa wanataka chopa na mimi najua nyinyi mazee vile mko na connect satari mnaweza ni get ya choppers mnaonaje itaweza ah, of course akina Tanzania watakushindwa washindwe aje wakwambia tulia buda chopa zako tutakujenga eh wacha tuingie Moscow <laughs> kuna sikia chopa zinapeana kama nyanya wacha tuingie Moscow tukujenge chopa yako budget ni 
akaambiwa uh, niende ni mu cheki cheki ni how much mtuambie si tutatuma pesa sawa wa Juan Almeida na Tarzan wakaingia Moscow tena wakaenda wakapata chopa inaitwa Kamov Kamov mazeni chopa moja heavy heavy hiyo kitu inabeba mazeni ma tanks like ni noma ni ridiculous ni ni hatari so wakaingia huko ndani mazeni waka negotiate ma chopas ni aje ni yeye tunataka hizi kuba hizi ma chopa jo eh, tunataka kufanya nazo business nini 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 of course huko vitu zinauzwa ka nyanya by the way unajua kitu ili happen Russians walikuwa wameenda waka build ma bases kila mahali kwa hizo hiyo Soviet Republic yote. Uto to country to dogo Lithuania sijui nini eh, Czech Republic hizo uto to country to USSR. So vile uh, gopa chevali tolewa usukani maze Russians waka hiyo USSR ka collapse si wa Russia walirudi kwa Russia. So hizo ma vitu hizo ma factories zote za kuunda choppers factories za kuunda sijui nini weapons zilibaki abandoned. So wale ma milicia wa hiyo hiyo area ndio wanakuwa wako pale kuziguard. So like vitu zinauzwa tu vile wanataka. Jua wajui hata value ya hii kitu. Hawajui ili cost of production ilikuwa how much ndio wajue vile kucharge. They have no clue. Ni wase tu wa makamagera huko wameamua okay since Russians wameenda wacha tu man hizi vitu. So that's why vitu huko zilikuwa very very cheap, ridiculously cheap. So chopa maze makina nani wameingia Moscow washa identify hiyo factory ya chopa washa ingia huko washa negotiate ni aje mtatupatia chopa na how much wakaambiwa 1 million dollars hiyo chopa by the way ingekuwa tu kuuziwa bay fit hapo ah, bila milioni kama 6 7 au na hiyo chopa So 1 million dollars tunatupatia chopa eh na upatia chopa kwa nini kesho unataka ngapi mbili ah very good so mtasafirisha aje mtazifly mpaka Colombia no haiwezi so lazima mtahaya ndege inaitwa Antonov Antonov is one of the biggest aircraft in the world ni bigi inatoshea chopa mbili ndani bebe choppers eh, kama kuna vitu zingine mnataka kushop shop around muzi squeeze squeeze huko ndani na nyimzi nyimzidi Antonov kuhaya ni like a million dollars aso alipatiwa hiyo Antonov na kitu kaso mbili 200k like huko bana ilikuwa tu ni free market we we ukipata kitu negotiate nunua toka enda so maze antono vimekam chopa zimewekwa ndani in fact huana ameona ah zile mapikipiki zangu zenye zilienda zikatundia milioni tatu since tuko na antono mzima hapa si tuongeze mpaka mapikipiki hapo juu waende wanunue mabike huko wakichukua chopa zao wachukue mpaka na mabike tutengeneze pesa kwani iko nini so wakajaza nini vipo juan almeida akaambia Tarzan mimi sasa sitangoja mfunge mizigo kwa ndege mimi nitachukua ndege teke teke nikimbie mpaka wapi Colombia city inaitwa Cali pale kuna cartel so inaitwa cartel de Cali hatari sana niende nianze kupiga negotiation mapema mapema e, ndio by the time mzigo inafika sisi tuko tushamalizana hapa mambo ya pesa ndio tusianze kusumbua na sumbuana oh ah, ah panta kaiwa panta mbua so Tarzan akamwambia na mambo Juan Almeida you you leave wacha mimi nibaki nikisindikiza mzigo tufunge mzigo kwa ndege vizuri nini e, kesho kesho kutwa mi I'll take off with the Antonov tukutane wapi Cali in Colombia hapo sawa hapo sawa Juan Almeida huyo Bogota capital ya Colombia ameelekea Cali Tarzan amebaki pale ashapakia mzigo vizuri siku ya kutoka imefika wameingia kwa Antonov sawa sawa wamepiga mikanda yao sawa sawa wanataka kuwa line na runway pale ndio wafanye ile kitu waelekee wapi Colombia ohho jeep zinatokea tu majeep wa 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 wase wako na machine guns rocket propelled grenades wako na kila kitu wanakuja wanafunga tu runway Bap. na wanashuka wanaambia pilot zima hiyo kitu na mshuke hapa very fast Hey, so wasona shindo hapa rada ni gani si tumenunua hizi vitu kwa hao mamungiki wa hao watu na tusha tumesaidika sasa ni nani hawa tena so majamaa wanashuka Antonov au magaidi wanaenda wanaingia huko ndani wanaona chopa mbili zimefungwa huko ndani mabike ni nini, nini wanashuka wanakaa mwanolzase ni nani amewapatia ruhusa ya kubeba helikopta zetu who eh hey, wanashindwa kwani tunafaa tuongee na watu wangapi si tumeongea na wase fulani hapa hata tumewalipa hizi nini akaambiwa tricky sana sisi ndio tuko in charge of the region hakuna kitu wingi hapa na hakuna kitu inatokaga kama hatujaambiwa nyinyi mnataka kudedi sababu hii ni madharau mnaleta madharau kwetu nyinyi mnatujua kwetu oh nani 
E, weka huu mtu chini bana mpige risasi hapa quick fast sababu naona tunapoteza wakati bure. Tazana kainua mkono akasema ah kabla hamjanipiga risasi. Hizi vitu mkijua ni za nani mnaweza kula pause na hizo risasi zenu. Au marashian wakashanga aha ni za nani kwani? Nani amewatuma mzichukue? Kambia, believe it or not. Hizi helicopters unaona hapa ndani tumetumwa na one Pablo Escobar Gaviria. Ndio ametutuma hizi vitu. Kama uko na ngori, we mpigie. Ako Colombia we mpigie. Unataka nikupatie namba? Uongee na Pablo Escobar. Umwambie umekataa chopa zake zikamu. Kwanza wakakuwa very excited. Wait. The one and only Pablo Escobar. Eh. Medellin Katen. Yes. Ndio anataka hizi chopa zetu eh. Pigia Pablo Escobar mwambie tunataka kumuona. Tunataka Pablo Escobar akuje hapa kesho because we have business tunataka kufanya na yeye. Until tuone Pablo Escobar hapa, hizi vitu hazitoki hapa na wewe unakula risasi. Kaambia ina mambo. Acha nipige simu bas. Unitaza na napiga simu. Tit. Simu inalia wapi? Bogota, Colombia. Inapata Juan Almeida ashafika. So sio Pablo Escobar anapigiwa, Pablo Escobar namba uliwapatia. Hawana. So yeye anapigia Juan Almeida. Juan anashika simu. Tazan akiwa Moscow anamuita Pablo. Pablo Escobar. Ni kungori. Hizi chopa zako nimeshikwa nazo na milicia wa hii country na wamesema unless wakuone hapa Pablo Escobar. Hizi ndege hazitoki hapa na mimi pia sitoki hapa nikiwa hai. Ananikulisha ndengu yangu safi. So please na kuhimiza na kuomba tafadhali Pablo Escobar Gaviria. Kuja Moscow tena. Please just come to Moscow. Kuja uongee na watu tafadhali. Boop, anakata simu. You know who is Pablo Escobar? And I said, "Whoa, don't tell us that you know Pablo Escobar." I said, "Pablo Escobar?" I said, "I'm working with him. He's my partner. I'm going to make a phone call right now and the Pablo can I can put him on the phone. You're going to talk to Pablo." I'm in Cali, Colombia, waiting for that airplane and I get a phone call from Tarzan. And Tarzan says, "Pablo, we need to talk." I said, "Pablo, you get you get need to get here to Russia." We do have a little problem and we need to solve this. You get here in Russia and get here please tomorrow. Otherwise I'm a dead man. And I was like, okay. All right. What does that mean exactly? Kidogo kidogo Pablo nani Juan Pablo Juan Juan Almeida na call anaambia niaje na kam so waambie watulie. So Juan anachukua ndege tena kutoka Colombia anarudi mpaka Moscow anaingia pale kwa airport anapata zile jeep zimemkujia majamaa wako na machine guns nini 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 anashuka hiyo ndege kama nani Pablo Escobar wadau Mungu ni mwema sababu Juan Almeida na Pablo Escobar Gaviria kwa umbali wanaenda kufanana I think alikuja mpaka na ako ka mustache ka Pablo nini hata ile designer anatembea eh huyu ni mtu amekula pesa ya madawa like ako tu sawa you know Juan look like Pablo I swear to God if you're going to look picture if you're going to take picture of Pablo and you're going to take picture of Juan they they like twin brothers kashuka pale kwa airport akasalimia wasema ze wa cosmeten ii wame ii me wa nice de oh pablo escobar ah, wamesikia tufiti wakaenda wakaanza kupiga story nini 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 pablo ko serious in fact wakati walitoka hapo wakaenda kakutanishwa na tazan tazan alimhug ile akimhug kwa masikia akamwambia act tough buda act tough answer the box so pablo ameshaingiza mazeka nini pale ameketi chini Naambia mazee nasikia mumeshikilia ndege zangu. Mumefanya niwache biashara yangu nikuje mpaka Moscow. Nataka kujua ni nini hiyo very important imefanya niache biashara yangu na multimillion dollar business nikuje niwasikize. What is it? Mdosi wa rebel sako hapa mazee karibu kutetemeka na waambia mazee Pablo. First of all, waga tumekutii mbaya wewe. 
we tumekutambua hii area hata una habari so nilikuwa nataka tupige biz hapa nakwambia tunaweza sukuma product yako utie unaweza anza na kitu kama 50 kilos tuletee 50 kilos za cocaine tutembeze hii mtaa mpaka watu wa fry Pablo Mazia na waangalia na disgust kwa face of course usi Pablo ni Juan Almeida na waangalia na waambia are you listening to these cabrons umenitoa Colombia kaniwacha ni nikawacha ni biashara yangu yote nikuje all the way mpaka Moscow uniambie unataka nikupatie cocaine 50 kilos do you know it takes me the same amount of time to pack 50 kilos enye ningechukua pia ku 2500 kg like this is what i take the same amount of time to pack 15 at 2500 mbona mbona ni waste resources nikipack 50 kilos na naweza pack 2500 kilos in the same time nini ni kama mumeniita hapa kunitukana ai wakati wakambia oh you you gave unataka tukacheze aje you tell us vile unataka tufanye tutafanya pablo kwambia excuse ni hapa pendejos na sitaki ujinga nitaleta colombians hapa nataka mnitafutie warehouse nilete cocaine yangu hapa eh, 2000 3000 kilos nitaifungia kwa warehouse nyinyi ndio mtaichunga na watu wangu kadhaa mtachuna chuna hizo 50 kilos zenu kwa hiyo warehouse mpaka ile siku mtamaliza tutajua vile tutagawana hiyo pesa but mimi kuniambia niweke 50 kilos kwa ndege that's an insult msi why niambia tawaita jina hapa mtafurai wakawaambia ni sawa bro sawa bro leta warehouse tutakutafutia tutakuchungia mali yako please leta utafurai biashara na sisi utanwise pablo kwambia ina mambo mtarilizi za helikopta zangu ziende. Oh yes 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 helikopta ziende wewe. Wewe tushafunga biashara na we are good to go. Papa na wakatoka. Wote kwa Antonov na helicopters to date. I don't think those Russian soldiers washawai gundua ya kwamba the person they were speaking to was not Pablo Escobar but ilikuwa Juan Almeida. Mukora tu kutoka hapa Miami Florida. Anyway <coughs> Chopa zimeenda zimeingia pale Colombia kali katelo me Friday. Chopa zilikuwa zinanunuliwa 1 million wakazinunua at 1.5 million each. So hapo dakika kidogo Juan Almeida na Tarzan wakaingiza a good 1 million dollars. Yaani kazi bila diash. Expenses zote kali katelo wamelipia. Ah so it's okay. It's okay. Na wakarudi wapi? Wakarudi ndani. Ha! Kurudi Miami my friends. Mzee mzima Grisha the guy is overworking sasa ame introduce mpaka another special DEA agent amemleta wanajifanya ni makompadre wanajifanya ni marafiki mpaka wamemu introduce DEA kwa kina Tarzan kwa kina Juan Almeida nini ni rafiki yangu sana tumekuwa na yeye Russia mambo ilikuwa imetuchachia huko but tumepatana hapa Miami so they become very good friends hawajui hapa they are dealing with an informer and an actual DEA agent they have no clue wanaanika tu biashara yao huko all over the place so it did not take long until they discover not they who you DEA discovers that remember Tony Nelson Yesta kutoka pale Cuba ameleta biashara ingine ya pili and this is not just your ordinary business no 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 apparently Kali Cartel was so excited after choppers kukua delivered mpaka wakaambia Yesta chief we want to take it a notch higher we have choppers zinafanya kazi but still as a baby ile payload tunataka Is it possible for you to organize a full grade military submarine? Itawezekana. Yesta akamwambia worry no more guys I got you man. Akapiga simu wapi? Kwa kina Yesta. I mean kwa kina Almeida. Na Tarzan na kwambia ni aje wadao. Guess what? Wanataka submarine. Mkondani ya mkondani. Kina Tarzan akamwambia tulia 
wacha tupige masimu tuone kama submarine itapatikana Tazan calls Moscow anapata one of the military bases huko maze ana call hapo anashikanisha shikanisha masimu nini nini of course zingine zinakataa zingine hivyo hivyo then one guy ana pick simu anamwambia ni aje nataka nataka submarine bro unaweza pata the guy ana call back later anamwambia chief i submarine unaitaka na missile sama unaitaka bila akamwambia eh hey, cheza chini buda sisi tunataka tu submarine tuitumie kama pickup hizo accessories si hatutaki nyinyi submarine na space tubebe mizigo sasawa kuje ni mosko yesta ambaye ni tony na tazan quick quick mpaka wapi mosko wanaenda wanaingia military base wa, no before the military base wanaenda wanapiga conversation na warusi hapo russian soko na culture flani ndio tukipige tupige biz fit lazima ni jue weni msem true hautaki kunifanya mbaya lazima nione the bear yani wewe at your bare minimum so most of these big agreements zinapigangwa kwa sona wakiwa ndeve eh lazima ni kuone kwa undani ndio nione yenyewe kweli wewe ni mtu mtu hautamifanya mbaya hapa of course bana Tony ni mkiuba bana jamaa <laughs> ni G kuruka atambui hiyo story ya kukaa ndeve na wanauma wanaume kwa sona akaambia hiyo tricky sana but of course after some convincing kabidi enyewe ni biz so wakaingia kwa sona pale wakiwa ndeve na warashia pale waka discuss nini so nataka eh eh submarine okay Ma, no problem tawashkanisha hapo na the relevant authorities nyinyi mfanye mambo yenu sawa sawa <coughs> so the following day Tony Tazan wanaingia base ya military wanapata generali yako pale amekauka dead ya kona stars kila mali yani mamedali wanaingia pale wanamsalimia ni aje jo submarine hapa mazetu naona imeti iko fiti generali anawapeleka tour hiyo submarine wanaona ni mali safi iko sawa anawaambia ina mambo hii tutaichukua na kama milioni kama mbao na kitu wanamwambia sawa haina mambo acha tuta tuta get back hata in fact tupatie tu dakika chache twende pale Tony anatoka peke yake anaenda anapiga simu Colombia anaambia kali cartel nimepata submarine wanaitisha 35 million <laughs> kali cartel wanaambia bana money ain't a thing man nataka proof proof ni nini proof ni picha eh hey, chief hapa ni kwa military chief wewe unaona mtu anapiga picha kwa base ya military wewe kali wanaambia wazee take it or leave it bro hakuna pesa inatoka hapa kama hatujaona atu, picha ya hiyo submarine tunataka proof Tony anarudi anaambia Tarzan ni aje wase wangu wanasema wanataka proof enda ukatie huyo generali mwambie lazima tupige picha tazana na join nonsense juu huu nani anapigaga picha kwa base ya military but anaenda tu anawaambia ni aje buda wazee customer sote wamesema jo ndio waamini lazima waone picha generali anamwambia utoka hapa na ukwenda kabisa unataka kupiga picha hapa wewe kwani una kichwa mbaya are you sick in the head unataka kupiga picha kwa military base wewe jamaa kwaambia nda kupatia 200 dollars mbona huku anza hivyo mbona huku anza hivyo Okay, let 200 dollars hapa wewe tupige picha hapa haraka haraka. Tunataka tupige aje tupige kama selfie nini? Apparently kumbe huko hakuna pesa. 200 dollars huko ni ni life changing money. 200 dollars ni pesa unaweza anza kukampaign nayo kukuwa president. It's ridiculous. Huko nasikia wao generali pesa alikuwa anapeleka home nyingi sana ni kama 60 dollars a month. Kumpiga 200 dollars hiyo ni salary yake ya miezi tatu. So of course yeah alikubali picha kaka picha zikatumwa Colombia. Wadosi pale kali katelo wakona hivi wakona ya mali ni safi. And they proceeded to wire a down payment of 10 million dollars to one Nelson Yesta aka Tony. So wakaenda waka grieve poor sasawa eh, wacha mambo nikipata pesa vizuri bwana generali nitakuja unipatie submarine yako wacha nikuokotee pesa vizuri kwanza sasawa sasawa generali akabaki na submarine Tony akaambia taza na ina mambo wacha turudi home eh. then eh, wale watu wa Colombia wakishanitumia pesa yote ni kuchanue 
tukuje tuchukue submarine twende tunone sasa wa taza taza na kadai sasa wa taza na karudi Miami generali na submarine yake wakabaki hapo Tony akaenda sherehe <laughs> na pesa ya kali katel 10 million dollars Shua, aka fly to some country in Europe akaenda akapata best yake akona apartment huko akamlipa kwanza i think 100,000 dollars pap akamwambia do hivi toka toka hapa enda tafuta mahali huko ukae for one week usikuje hapa na usijaribu hata kupiga simu i want all this apartment to myself of course ukipigwa 100,000 dollars na wewe mtu ulikuwa umechill tu kwa keja unachukua unaenda very fast jamaa akaekelea miguu kujua ya meza hapa ako na 9 million 900,000 ina muangalia tu kwa amepona akazima simu zote nini kila kitu <laughs> wiki ikaisha wiki ya pili ikaisha Katel so anaanza kukuwa impatient kali Katel anashindwa wait huyu mtu tulimtumia 10 million dollars ameenda wapi amenyamaza ha generali ashaanza kupigia nani kupigia eh Tarzan yo mulisema mna kujei kitu bana it's been weeks bana mkuji ni na, na, namna gani bana wadau bana ni kwanza ni nani hao mnauzia kitu tumeanza hata kuwashuku hii biashara ni legit kweli nyinyi naona mnataka kutufanya mbaya nyinyi kushaanza kuwa tuna bad blood Tarzan anashanga na kwani utoni alienda wapi tulikuwa tumea graffiti do anachukua tu do aniite tuchukue submarine ana try ku reach Tony apart Tony kidogo kidogo anampata anamwambia chief is how tusha umenituma nimeorganize mpaka submarine nishakuorganizea alafu unapotea like chief who does that tunaomba relax we tulia wewe wewe ndo kuambia mambo ikiwa sawa we tulia na toni ana disappear kali katel ina wahit ai 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 huyu mjamaa ni kama ametufanya mbaya ameenda na 10 million yetu haina mambo haina mambo usheski ya mtu ameibia katel Mnajua vile wao wanafanywa? Ya. Yeah. Katelo akaanza masimu, anaanza kutafuta associates wa Yester. Wakapata nani? Juan Almeida. Wakamkolo kwambia ni ajebuda. Ah, in fact hata tuko kwa neighborhood. Eh? Ya ya, tuko Miami, tushafika. Kuna boy wako anaitwa Tony. Tulimpatia 10 million dollars alikuwa anafatunulia ya submarine na 35M. Na ujamani kama ameingia mitini na pesa yetu. The good thing ni ati tunajua mali yuko. Ako somewhere in Europe. Ya hata tunamuona akipiga malapo huko, tunajua. But tunataka tu aelewe the gravity of the situation, the gravity of the matter. So unataka tu unisaidie kitu moja. Hebu ni pointie tu hawa yake. Just his house. Nataka tu kujua mali anaishi na bibi yake na mtoto. Just that. Ah. Juan Almeida anajua Catelsa wa Chekangi. Uh, before aonyeshane nyumba anajaribu ku reach Tony anajaribu mpaka anampata na muuliza Buda where are you watu wanakutafuta hapa my friend my wewe unajua wanataka bibi yako na mtoto na wamesema wanajua mahali huko Buda fanya kweli either urudishi yao 7 million dollars yao ama uwapatie hiyo submarine tafadhali usiwafanye mbaya please Juan got him on a line Uh, he said Tony we have to talk to you the situation is getting hot one goes Tony f- man i f-ing worry about you said man what's the f-ing worry told me man where the f- are you i said what's the problem and i told him buddy you're in a heap of shit Tony and Abia okay relax watch any deal now sasa sasa Tony anakata simu anapiga simu wapi kali katel. Ha. Kumbe Tony hataki kurudisha hii 10 million dollars. Anataka kuwa dupe ile balance imebaki ya 25 million dollars ndio mjue yenyewe huyu mwanaume. Hizi ako na kadhaa. Sio kama wengine wetu. Hizi ako nazo. So ana call wale majamaa anawaambia ah. Sikuambia maliniko. Ai ai makosa ni yangu. Makosa ni yangu. Fanya hivi eh. Ile 10 million mlinitumia iko. Iko sawa. Niongezeeni tu hiyo 25 ya juu ni walete submarine immediate immediately hiyo in fact before you can say the word cartel nitakuwa nimeleta submarine hapo very fast wakawaambia ina mambo so tutume how much 25 million okay sasa sawa uh, kuna jamaa atakuwa hapo Madrid 
Uh, unaweza fika Madrid eh pale kwa train station eh good utakutana na majama wetu hapo utakupatia pesa kwa bag 25 million dollars organize maze submarine yetu ikam ulikuwa umetushtua <laughs> maze ma simple organize to do yetu ikam submarine yetu ikam tafadhali sawa sawa so tukutane wapi Madrid sawa i'll be there Juan i mean Tony anaingia kwa taxi anakimbia mpaka wapi Madrid kwa train station ako hapo anapiga mazaidi darubini anaangalia anaangalia anaona ya anaona kuna heavy cartel presence so anakola majamaa anamwambia haja nimefika uko wapi ah si niko kwa taxi imeandikwa ABC and D unaiona iko na kakibao ka taxi hapo juu eh naiona ndio mimi pap anakata simu wale cartel wanaenda wanaingia kwa hiyo kaba pap pap jap take take na kaba fu inapeleka place fulani kumbe Tony aliwaambia manze kab ka tatu zenye ziko mbele yake hapo before so alikuwa tu anataka ku watch aone aso ata deal na yeye aje akaone ile hostility aso ameingia kwa hiyo kab nayo akajua uongo mbaya hakuna 25 million na watu wanataka kunipatia maybe 25 million bullets but sio pesa so yeye akakula tu vector na kab yenye yuko na akaenda kabisa minutes later manze katelo na mkolo na muuliza eh hey, chief <laughs> tumeingia hapo kwa taxi na upole hatuja kuona tukashindwa <laughs> tunaweza kuwa tulikuwa tumekosea taxi akaambia aya nimeona ile upole mmeingia nayo ah in case i'm just realize umetandikwa 10 million dollars nipelekeni mali mataku nipeleka <sighs> back in miami grisha amefanya kazi yake ameleta mpaka DEA agent ndani ya kikosi DEA agent amefanya kazi yake wameokota evidence left right and center mzee mzima taza na kipeleka mtoto shule ah makarao Miami Dade Police Department weka mtu pingu weka mtu ndani Juan Almeida akiwa kwa biashara yake ya magari ah Miami Dade Police Department weka mtu pingu weka ndani ya gari ha mpaka ndani in fact aya nimesahau hawakushika Juan Almeida walianza na nani na Tarzan Tarzan akasukumwa ndani akapiga plea deal pale wazimu akawaambia niaje ina mambo uh, first of all nimesikitika kusikia kwamba Grisha rafiki yangu wa ndani ndio amenipeana na kama hiyo ndio iko ai hata mimi nipeane bas nipatieni tu kitu light eh niwalete Juan Almeida mimi hapa clearly hakuna ubeste kama beshte yangu ndio alinipeana si hata mimi wacha nilete beshte yangu so wakamsikiza akapatia na mazema vitu hapo zinao implicate Juan Almeida na yeye badala ya kufungwa US akakuwa extradited to no not extradited akakuwa deported to Israel so yeye yeah, akasukumwa Israel Juan Almeida akashikwa but vile mjamaa alitoka akakaenda akasema oh hizo vitu zote niliwaambia juu ya Juan Almeida ni uongo i recant everything hakuna kitu kama hiyo Juan alifanya ya yeah, kujani monishika Israel bas sasa ikakuwa ah Juan Almeida hizi kaa ndani ule asha recant statement yake yote washa nini yako Israel ah wacha akae huko Tony Yester believe it or not to this very day he has never been found alikula milioni 10 ya cartel yuko tu anatesa yuko kuote europe huko north africa kidogo nini but he has never been found he kuna mandume hapa hicho sasa hiyo ndio wash wash hii eto hapa hii kunyang'anya wa mama vibeti hakuna wash wash hapo hiyo ai una dupe cartel hey we hiyo ngori na hapo ndo tunafika kikomo cha kipindi chetu cha headline hitters for the season na waomba mniruhusu tafadhali sababu nimkoshwa mna notice kijana anangangana sana ana strain na waomba mniruhusu nichukue break kidogo angalau nipate na full imekuwa nini marathon moja heavy sana but tunashukuru Mungu ametufikisha hapa sababu yenu nyinyi tumeweza kufanya sinema mnaichukua vizuri sana tuendelee na moyo huo huo iteni watu wakuje wanunue washuhudie kazi safi yenu ni kazi yetu hiyo eh bana no, tupate fursa na resources za kupiga sinema nyingine otherwise nyinyi ni watu wa true 
Mungu awe nanyi chochote mnafanya kifanikiwe everything you touch let it turn to gold tuonane tena nikirudi tena pengine baada ya mwezi mmoja or something yeah na nashukuru itakuwa live recording tukirudi hiyo weekend ya kwanza ya disemba tuonane hapo between now and then kuna mavitu vitu tutaweka hapo the making of the movie vitu vitu kadha kadha tutaweka weka hapo kwa channel so amtani ni sana asiye wadau you are bambe sana na watambua nyinyi ni wa true tutazidi adios muchachos peace